Hi there, my name is Roy Dunn. I'm a professional photographer and I'm here at Cognosys to walk you through some of the fundamental operations of the stop shot camera control system. The stop shot is a high precision, high performance, very flexible piece of equipment that can take sensor inputs and drive multiple outputs programmed in time. So we can time events instantaneously or have delays but what it enables us to do are things like capture the moment when a champagne cork pops from a bottle or the moment that a balloon bursts and we can capture it as it's unfolding around the envelope. You can also use the system to capture things like animals walking along a nature trail at night. For this demonstration, all I want to do is show you how simple it can be to use the stop shot to fire a flash from a sound input. And to do that, we use a simple microphone that is one of the optional sensors available with the stop shot. And first of all, what I'm going to do is simply plug power into the stop shot system to boot it up. And as I do, you'll see the screen illuminates, it goes through a little boot sequence, and it's ready to go. If I take this microphone, and this is a standard lapel microphone, and plug it into the microphone input, into the sensor, we will see that Oh, we'll be able to create a trigger output on any of any or all of three output channels to drive a camera, to drive two cameras, to drive three cameras, one flash, two flash, three flashes, switches, solenoids, anything we like, frankly. We can drive three outputs independently of each other and time them. We can have them all go at once. We can stagger them in time, and we'll be seeing that demonstrated. But this occasion, what I'm going to do is simply drive a flash unit. And that flash unit can be a simple, cheap Chinese flash such as this Yongnao YN560. It can be a Canon 600EX-RT. This is the latest and greatest state-of-the-art speed light from Canon. Or it can in fact be even a studio speed light such as this Einstein. Let's walk through the process. So I have the microphone input and what I need to do is now interface the output from the stop shot via an RCA cable which comes with the system plug that into the flash interface cable and this is simply a cable that has a flash PC connector and I can manually connect that to any of these flashes. I'm going to do that with this Yongnao flash first. Switch it on and this is a manual flash and it's in manual mode. It's probably operating at about one eighth power such that when I clap my hands you will see the flash go off. It's sound operated trigger. As soon as the sound of my hand clap goes to the microphone, comes into the stop shot and drives the flash. And it can be any flash at all, as I mentioned. We'll take it out and we'll drive this Canon flash. The Canon flash is a very sophisticated piece of equipment. It has radio control, it has TTL, it has all sorts of magic. But in this very simple case, we're going to have it in manual mode, dialed down to about 1 32nd power. So it's going to, the performance is going to be much the same. And once more, as I clap my hands, you'll see the flash going off. So think about it. If I have a balloon bursting and it creates that sound, that flash is going to capture the very instant that that balloon bursts. We have multiple outputs though, and I can drive different things at different times. So now I'm going to introduce this studio flash, which is a Paul C. Buff Einstein, but it can be literally anything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into the second output, and then I'm going to program a delay of about one second into this second output so that when I clap my hands, one of this flash will fire instantaneously and about a second later this flash will go off. So let's see what we can do. I just need to click the right button to select that second output, increase the time to about one second, about there, and we're ready to go such that as I say, when I clap my hands, this flash will go off instantaneously and that flash, when I power it on, will flash about a second later. So we'll give this a second to warm up and we'll try it. You can probably hear the noise of that. It's charged and ready to go. So let's see what we get. Hey, it worked. Hey, presto. I'll do it again. Instantaneous flash there, a second later there. Bang. Um, lastly, if you're... If whatever flash system you're using, be it a studio monolight or any type of flash that is capable of producing manual, or capable of being programmed in a manual fashion, it may or may not have a PC 
flash connector input, in which case you can sit it on a hot shoe and Cognosys also provide optional flash hot shoes, again with the flash interface cable, so you can sit any flash in this hot shoe and the stop shot will be able to fire it. Thanks for watching.